Ooh, check it out. Looking real good, I'll tell you that. so today we're at the house finally got the truck here uh, so far everything is good besides the brakes we have no brakes pretty much uh, I think I gotta tighten up the brake lines maybe some more and then if not then I gotta figure out what's up with I know that right calibration locked, locked up on me but either way you know just trace it but for now we're gonna work on the flatbed so we're gonna install the same flatbed I, I had on before and last time it was on, it was actually welded to the frame of the truck, and this time we're gonna do it a little different, so a little better. So, so the plan is for that flatbed to be on here. All right. So the plan is to get this steel, some pretty thick stuff. Get this steel, put a half inch hole in it. I have half inch bolts, grade A bolts, right? Well, we're gonna, I guess you know, cut cut cubes out of this, and. We're gonna tighten it up here on the actual, the actual, uh, on the bed with that, you know, of course the cube, that being cut. And then, um, whenever it's time to put that bed on, we're gonna slip that on top of it, top of there, make everything straight aligned, everything pretty much how I want it. And we're gonna weld that to the actual brackets that are gonna, it's gonna sit on, so gonna be six of them so it's gonna be the factory uh bed mounts so you know of course when i sell it in the future if i do sell it in the future right i can offer it to somebody that you know that has the um has a regular you know bed truck not not a cabin chassis truck right so that doesn't help out a lot so yeah that that's the way we're gonna do it so for now we're just gonna create create them you know little 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 brackets and then doing hey what you doing bro <laughs> all right so yeah so that's sorry about it being a little dark right so let me get there we go it's the actual color okay so this quarter inch steel right so like I was saying the frame is three inches three inches thick right well not the actual steel of thickness, but you know, see there, three inches. So I'm pretty much gonna cut these three inch, three inch, three inch, three inch. I'm gonna cut six of them, and then I'll start drilling my holes. These are kind of to the side, if you can tell. The see that one, and this one's actually in the middle. So it's gonna be kind of offsetted. I don't know how the bolts can actually fit in there. I might even make it bigger for the bolt to be in there or shift to the side, but kind of don't like that. I'm gonna try to, you know, I'm gonna try to put it in the right place, but yeah, get it going. Okay. Real good. That's pretty much what we're gonna do. Got the other ones cut. All right, so far going pretty good. So, check it out. So, these bad boys. We actually made the hole in the frame. It's <laughs> kind of a little tilted. You don't like it. I'm actually gonna put some spaces down there to level that up. But that helped me out right now. But this is what we got so far. Got this mounted up. This one mounted up. Need the bolts for this. So, got all the brackets already cut. Have a hole in them. One's missing a, one missing a bolt and a, and a nut, of course. But either way, it's done. They're not yellow no more, which is good, right? I don't want them yellow things down there, but uh, yeah, everything's came out pretty good. Check it out. Look. So like I said, these two, they're not on there correctly. I thought the frame was more straight there. And I did the the hole right in the middle of the actual bracket, so that's a little sideways, but either way, that's on there pretty good. That one's slanted, which is two inches, which is perfect, so. That's on there pretty good right there. I like it. And then that one, 
put the level over here with that one that one's pretty straight as well so got those pretty straight besides that one which is the extra ones i put but yeah i was using the the stock bed bolts right there well bed bolt holes i mean oh looking pretty good all right check it out she is loaded up well not loaded up got the trailer behind it with the flatbed so my boy noel he's gotta put it on my dad's friend he's gonna actually weld it on for me so hell yeah i'm excited man freaking excited hope uh, i get that before the thing leaves probably gotta put that on the truck too but about to tie this thing up yeah Hopefully in a little bit you see that the bed actually on. Look at that truck, bro. That's, that's just a good looking truck. Really good looking. Get y'all in uh, 2D mode. 2D mode, there we go. Boom, look at that. Yeah. Alright, bet. Let's get to it. And good. Alright. I'm pretty I'm working so I can't record, so. Check it out. Looking real good, I'll tell you that. Looking real good. Man, these acts are messed up right now. I don't know why they keep, they keep, they keep me out of whack. I don't know what's up with that, but I gotta figure that out. Because <laughs> that, that it's higher than the air. Yeah. But either way, man, just look at that thing. Look at that, look at that presence right there it just brings. Uh-huh. Let's see. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Boom. Looks real good. Just put the bump. Put the bumper on there, imagine that. Alright guys, that's it for this video. We got finally got the flatbed on there. It's looking way better. I guess we need the wiring lift for the flatbed. I might not install the side markers for now. Looks like I'm not missing them. And uh, one of the actual brackets for the side markers actually fell off. But either way, that's it for this video guys. Y'all like, subscribe, y'all take care. Peace. Stack or no stack? Looks pretty good to me. Kind of childish though, but it still is good.